Cyborg Alpha, Infinite Queen and Middle School for Life, produced in association with Academia University TV, a project of Academia University, open and free education and knowledge. Academia University TV and Hawaii Tea House TV are a part of Cyborg Alpha TV Network. Experimental TV. Well, it's four hours and 48 minutes into the 15th day of December 2021. Um, up for a pit stop. <laughs> uh, I'm getting extra sleep that I need trying to catch up on things. Uh, so there was no observation vlog, no no sees vlog as well. Um, I will be back at it tomorrow. I've fixed up some notes for tomorrow night. Uh, hopefully, it depends on. Uh, I'm going to be finishing a contract tomorrow. The one, when the one I did over the weekend that I just have uh, s some amount of work to do. I don't have a lot of work to do. So uh, that's going to sort of oh. Uh, Determine what's going to happen in terms of the overall schedule for the day and whether I go out at night. And it's been rather warm, the sun has been active again. Uh, it's, in, it's in sort of its up phase in terms of uh, not only brightness but uh, 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 so, uh, activities on the surface of the sun, uh, solar activities. Uh, it's quite visible to sort of see this. At least, it, <laughs> you know. It, once you get the right images, once you get the right view of things, you can sort of determine how things are going. Uh, it does take a while to get those images, to get to sort of figure out which, which ones are beneficial, which ones uh, are not that beneficial. You know, there are some that are good, some that are bad. And some that are, in, in a way, is kind of in between. And that's kind of uh, where we sort of sit uh, right now and as we are in in between phase, uh, uh, I am at the uh, our family uh, no uh, family five vlogs uh, uh, vlog. I'm at their place. So I'm going to rewatch it. I went by I went by um, Yali vlogs earlier. Uh, Allie got the job at Disney. She's now a Disney princess, and so uh, we'll see what ends up happening from there on. Now it's only the oh. Only time will tell. I'm pretty sure that, that you know, because they're a couple weeks behind. Like every vlogger, is a couple weeks behind. So uh, we'll we'll have to wait a couple weeks to sort of see uh, what she does and how she because she now has to move to California. There's going to be so part of a move-in video. Uh, we'll see if she brings her channel back up again in terms of, in terms of adding new content. Um, it's going to be interesting to see. I think this is where where things get uh, well from my perspective get interesting. Uh, and I wish her well. I hope everything goes well well for her. Right? I know that's a good opportunity, but uh, things always do go wrong. It's, there's no simple solution. And I said before that that this is life on YouTube is as a nerd on YouTube. Uh, this is my social socialization and where uh, I can comment on other people's videos uh, in my own vlog. So. Uh, yay for the YouTuber community. Uh, uh, it, it, when a situation occurs and I said, oh, uh, and trends change, trends do change, then you have to make adjustments in your own sense so that you don't stop what you're doing. In, in other words, you don't sell out for, to the lowest common denominator. But at the same time, you still adjust to the environment that you're in. There are other ways around it. You know, Lionel has kind of given up. He's sort of, well, he's, he, he says it to himself, but at the same time, he does the same thing. There's no, you, you can't be preaching to the choir. If you, if you want to change people's minds, you want to change people's ideas, then you cannot go to the people who already agree with you. You have to go to people who disagree with you and try to bring in new faces, new ideas, and it's, 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 in many cases, you're getting banned because of how you phrase something. A lot of times, it's the presentation. Once you change the presentation and change it, change, change the tune, maybe you'll get more people in, and it will be a different aspect. In other words, you, you, well, it goes back to the whole issue on target assessment. 
if you went into an area and you did not hit the target properly and you're getting knocked out of the sky, you got a problem. You then have to reassess so that you can go in, get your target, get your target audience, and bring more eyes into you. What the what the analytics say doesn't necessarily matter because the analytics have always been faulty. It doesn't matter. Go, oh, they're attacking us. Oh well, no, not necessarily because if you were on YouTube earlier, in the early days of YouTube, you still would have problems. The whole issue of dropping subscriptions uh, uh, is is uh, is always been a problem with YouTube. Same thing with the view count. But I think it's, there are other ways to sort of gauge. There are other, you know, there are other third-party uh, apps and services that will tell you how many people are seeing your page. So you don't necessarily have to rely on Google Analytics in order to give you all that information. You can go to other sources to get the information. So, uh, and the thing is, it, if you're doing something unusual, like physics or something like that, or, or, or any dirty type of stuff. Don't expect a large audience. You're not going to get a large audience, unless, of course, you're a girl. Uh, but then again, I don't know how much of the audience the girl actually really wants in terms of uh, who's out there watching. But anyways, you do have to understand where your market is, how large it is, and then how to bring in new content, new ideas, uh, so that you become more visible. In other words, you have to do marketing. Marketing is all about visibility. It's not about sales. It's about visibility. Does someone recognize your brand? And if they do that, if they can understand your brand, see your brand, recognize you for what you are, then you've done a good job. Anyways, uh, that's it for this transition point. Uh, I will uh, have some uh, my refueling uh, and watch some uh, YouTube. Although this is not I was not planning this to be a transition point. It nonetheless turned out to be a transition point because I'm going back to bed in a little bit. It's an issue with my neurological neurological disorder that makes me very tired, and the only option is to go back to bed and, and sort of sleep it out and then uh, proceed from there. So that's what I'm going to do. The dreams have been kind of interesting, but anyways, let's give you a time and date stamp since. Uh, we're end, kind of ending the YouTube stroll here at our family nest. It's uh, 23 hours and uh, 7 minutes into the 16th, no, into the 15th day of December 2021. Uh, I have these every once in a while. I have these episodes every once in a while where my body just doesn't work properly uh, due to the neurological disorder. And um, I'm in one of those periods now where... Uh, I just have to go back to bed. <laughs> I ate, had something to eat, so I guess this is going to be like a pit stop type of thing. And I'll probably go to back to bed for two, three hours, and then get up again, and sort of that will be the next portion of the day, if you will. As I said, the dreams have been kind of interesting. It, it, they're bizarre and weird at the same time because. They contain a variety of component, oh, a variety of components, uh, mashed into one kind of uh, almost like a collage. Uh, basically, I'm looking at the Our Family Nest uh, thumbnail. And I'll describe it. Is several pictures taken, uh, put together on the, as the foreground with a backdrop or a background to it. A large chunk of my dreams are in that collage format where there are a number of different components together on a background. And they kind of, one dream morphs into another. Without any break between the dreams, sometimes there's a break between the dreams. There's a, there's a di different, a definite uh, disconnect, uh, and then a re-entry. So there's a, you leave one dream and you enter into another. And I'm aware of the shift. I'm aware that, there, that these things have shifted, but sometimes 
there isn't the there isn't the break from one to the other. A lot of times, while this has been happening lately, there's been a morphing of dream from one into the other. And a lot of times, there is a period of overlap where one overlaps with the other. So you see, some almost like a collage where one is leaving and the other one is coming in. So, uh, it's like going between walls. Well, you see, Stargate or anything where they use portals. It's like that. Dreams have portals in them. You move, you move from one portal to the next portal, uh, and sometimes you're caught in between, uh, and you are aware of the in between shift from one to the other. While other times uh, you're not aware, of the, not necessarily aware. You don't. There is nothing in between one realm and the other realm. In other words, the portal is, is very cut and dry. It's one to the other, rather than being all melded together in terms of one sort of morphed. Uh, transition, if you will. So, uh, things seem to be moving along, okay, for everybody, it's from what I'm sitting on YouTube. Uh, it's definitely Christmas time, and, uh, a large shrug with this throw, oh, has the Christmas music in there, so we are in Vlogmas, we are, I am doing Vlogmas, although it doesn't necessarily look like it, because... No, I primarily vlog every day anyways. I don't always post every day, just but I do vlog every single day. And I'll leave this here now because the fatigue is getting to me. And I'm going through these muscle twitches. This is part of the neurological disorder. Are these muscle twitches that uh, I can't control and it makes the body very, very tired. So I'll see you in the next transition. Well, one of the problems with time off is it gives you time to think about things. Oh, time to reflect on where you've been. Uh, anyways, it is four hours and four minutes. Into the 16th day of December. Because, well, about four hours ago it was the 15th, so today's the 16th. And I'm going to be confident and not check. <laughs> yeah. Not checking. As I said before that you know, you always feel like you're middle school. Middle in terms of the work work I'm doing with exploration, uh, because when you're doing time off, when you're doing time off, when which is what it is now, it's it's the winter break uh, from uh, basically December first to January uh, to February first. It is winter break, uh, we're doing vlogmas, uh, but, but then again we vlog every day, so it doesn't necessarily matter, and remember, these are the notes. These aren't the essays, these are simply the notes, and so sometimes there will be overlaps between the two, because uh, uh, the essays come from the notes, but I can't, I can't vlog everything, all the notes, so these are some of the notes, some of the thoughts some of them usings, and they're not any in any particular order or uh, coherence. Mm. Even though there's time off, you still are moving. You're basically working at cruising speed. You're just simply not pushing the... You're not pushing things forward. You're at cruising speed. Ugh. You're allowing things to be sort of uh, go in the direction that they that they were tended to go. In other words, you're not forcing anything. But the problem is with thinking and reflecting on things. It says it's, if you're going to go back to go back to the to the uh, analysis of climbing a cliff or climbing the mountain, right? Uh, you don't want to look down. <laughs> because the height at which you've achieved, which isn't insignificant, will cause you to become weak-kneed. <laughs> terrified by looking, because looking down, whoa, well, there's all that space between me and the ground. You know, if I fall, then what happens then? And so a large chunk of fear comes in and it can cripple you. But, uh, at the same time, when you look, if you look up, 
because you're having time to reflect uh, on, as to what you've done, where you've been, and where you're going, uh, you see that the path ahead of you is so uh, significantly long that it's very difficult to sort of sit down and say, okay, well, I'm happy about where I've been because, uh, you know, I um, don't have that much further to go where if you're on a path that's infinite, then you are still infinitely far away. No matter how far you've come, you're still infinitely far away from where you want to be. So, or hope to be. And so, it, it, it put, put you back into a situation, you know, where you're not, you know, you're not a child, but at the same time as you're not an adult either. And uh, this is the way it is for the rest of your life. This is how life is going to be even though age and time does pass you by. And so, well, as you age, because your peers are tweens, you feel more and more out of space, more and more out of time. But then again, that's the way I've always felt. I've never really been part of the crowd. I've never really been part of society. So, I never really felt a connection uh, to a particular age or a particular group uh, that would make this sort of unusual for me. Uh, I've got my uh, TV screen ahead behind you up, up, up on the uh, on the wall it's a projector it's a nice I think it's about 130 inches in total it could be larger, but uh, that's all the space I have for it. So, <laughs> a hundred and thirty inch TV is uh, all I can, uh, all the all the space I can afford. Uh, and you see this, you, you see this with kids who are at twelve, thirteen years old, and they're starting to, you know, the tween age when they're starting to go from, uh, well, this is the middle school. The whole middle school thing is that. They want to do more, but they realize they can't do more. There's a, there's a limitation, and there's also uh, other restrictions around that end up being frustrating. Uh, then from there, the next transition period, and this is one too. Every every we go through these every every couple hours, we go through a transition period, and they kind of change. They're not the same every time, but they look kind of similar. They may be similar, but not necessarily the same. The other transition point is when you're leaving high school, going to college, or whatever you can do afterwards. Because you have to decide the direct. You finally now have to decide a direction you want to go in. And not all, not all people, not everyone knows where they want to go. They don't necessarily have a direction set, and that causes a bit of uh, uh, a concern, you know. And of course, uh, there's finishing college and getting your your first job, getting your first job is is all often unusual. And Allie's going to have to go through this because she's always more or less lived at home. So going to live in LA and be part of the next uh, not let's say Allie, but you know, out in California, she's going to work at Disney. Uh, oh, she's going to work at Disney. She got her job, and that means she's going to have to get an apartment. And being by yourself is not easy. My niece just moved out. She's got an apartment. She's studying nursing at McGill. And it's her first time out. And she's not... She, there are bits and times where she's lonely. Particularly if you're a very social person. Being by yourself is a difficult thing to do. It's not easy. You've got to find uh, some ways to... Some way to make your time, uh, you know, more palatable. More... Uh, not as lonely, because it does get lonely. But there's also a bit of excitement that you're going to be on your own for the first time. And so what happens, you have these transitions, and you have these transitions in life, and uh, everyone comes with a bit of challenge to it, and, and it really depends on how your perspective is. Uh, that's going to sort of help you get through it or not, and there's always going to be issues. There's always going to be times when you're not feeling necessarily the best in terms of physically 
or mentally, there's going to be sort of these mental issues that will come up every once in a while. Just because, well, you have, let's put it in, in this way, you have physical illnesses like flus and colds or whatever that last maybe, uh, some of them short 48 hours, some of them last two weeks, depending on how, uh, on the type of infection that gets into the body. And you can have mental illness in the exact same manner. Some could last 48 hours, uh, others will last a couple of weeks, uh, you know, it's an issue, it becomes more, a more serious issue, and if you're going beyond three weeks, then you've got a more serious issue on your hand, and, and this is where you might want to go seek help, or, you know, but uh, sometimes there might be nothing, to, you might not be able to do anything, my, my finger, my hand, you know, it's better now, there's nothing there anymore, uh, but for, if you look through a couple of blocks, for about a month, uh, I had my band-aid on, right, I had that uh, massive band-aid on the finger. Well, it's got. It's, it took. It took a month to heal. Uh, my mom is going through her bits that she's got some issues with her health, uh, particularly with her legs, and uh, and she ha- ended up having a deep vein from thrombosis. So. And she's climbing the walls because it, it, it makes it makes her not be able to do things, and she's having one thing after the other. So every time something happens, it sets her back. And it pushes that goal of being healthy again further and further out. And she's been not healthy now for about three, four years. So, uh, anyways, uh, I think I'm going to leave this here for now because it's uh, time to get on with the uh, pit stop and finish up my YouTube stroll. I don't know exactly where I'm going next, but uh, we'll sort of have to figure that out. Uh, and then um, on the cartoons. All right. See you later. Next transition. Produced in association with Academia University TV, a project of Academia University. Open and free education and knowledge. Academia University TV and Hawaii Tea House TV are a part of Cyborg Alpha TV Network. Experimental TV. We are Cyborg Alpha, Infinite Tween and Middle School for Life.